what was it Paul that helped you at that point and how to scale your business because to me that's always been one of the my personal you know obstacles is when you know when should I hire that next person you know what was there was it based off metrics was it based off feel what was that so we developed a number of KPIs in house mm. key points of interest right mm -hmm. we have all these things mm -hmm. we actually know our average time to hire Oh, wow. And so that gives you, it allows you to say, you know, you take all your staff members and all the amount of months that they've been at the company mm -hmm. and you divide it by the quantity of staff and mm -hmm. it gives you this number like 2.5, mm -hmm. which means you need to hire someone every 2.5 months. Interesting. It's simply because you're going to have some churn of them staff, mm -hmm. but you're also going to have new people you're hiring. Mm -hmm. And so it allows you to kind of say, well, it's been two months. I should probably get on the ball because mm -hmm. it's going to take a month to hire someone. Mm hmm you know, from this, from the time that you post on, you know, uh, Indeed or wherever you do, right. to the time that you actually get interviews done, the time you make a pick, it's like a 30-day process. 